from happening again. Max Rodriguez reports. Honking, posters, and photos. A community coming together to remember a life lost too soon. McKinley High School student Sarah Yara killed while crossing Kapilani Boulevard Wednesday morning. Police say the 16-year-old was struck by a driver speeding. Her family now leading the cause to prevent another senseless death. With the Lord's help, we're going to move mountains. We need to move mountains just to save another life. Sarah's mother, full of courage in the front lines, knows her daughter's death was preventable. My daughter was only 12 inches away from the sidewalk. That could have been all prevented if there was no speed. I mean, they took a life too soon. So now we have to fight for her voice that now she's not here. Dozens in the community are leaving flowers and letters for Sarah, like this one. It says, Dear Sarah, I hope you're resting easy. You're in a much better place, and you left too early. She, like, uplift our team. Sarah described as quiet, but always friendly. Many still processing the tragedy and left with questions. The alleged driver has a long history of traffic infractions. The incident putting a spotlight on traffic and pedestrian safety once again. We need to really look at the situation because clearly traffic laws wasn't enough, um, enforcement wasn't enough, so we have to do something different. As for changes at the intersection, the city will decide but the State Transportation Department says a red light camera is scheduled to be installed there next month. It's sad that it takes full-time enforcement to get people to act the right way around highway safety situations. But if that's what it takes, that's what we're going to do. Sunday's message from the community to drivers was clear. Drivers should watch where they're going and they should slow down on a red light. How many more children do we have to lose for them to understand slow down? Max Rodriguez.